centuries ago, Japan was unified under the Tokugawa Shogunate. It closed its doors to the rest of the world, and for a time, the island nation prospered. Yet despite its apparent tranquility, conflict brewed beneath the surface. Feudal lords known as Daimyo were kept under strict surveillance. In public, they were loyal. But the coals of discontent were slowly being fanned towards conflagration. Deep in the mountains of Kurosu, weapons were secretly forged in preparation for rebellion. Shogun's forces got wind of the plan and took terrible and bloody reprisals. skills in pairs called Blade Twins. There's PlayStation sound effects, ring effect, PlayStation 2. Gonna be lurking, alright. Thanks for lurking. Okay, let's see if I can get my previous customization. <laughs> yeah, I'm the boy. Okay. Hey, they change his hair. Okay, um, let's check out the hairstyle and see what they have. Oh God! God damn, that looks pretty awful. The hair options are not very good. Oh. <laughs> The sound is great in this game. Let's see. Oh god. Wow. What is oh what the heck? Okay, we need to uh What is this? They don't have their hair like that back then. This is. <laughs> they're just being silly now. Okay. Um, is this for like the female characters? Why is it so puffy in the front? I don't think they have it puffy in the front.
He looks like an old lady. Wow, the hair is just sticking out. That's not good. That one's okay, except for the stringy part in the front. <laughs> oh, I think the stringy part, I think you can remove later or something. <laughs> oh, what? What is this kabuki shit? No. <laughs> you know what? This would be perfect. We should have the uh, the male character use this, and then the female character have like a butch haircut. Hair at sides. Okay, so you can't do that with with that hair, I guess. Hair at sides. Tied hair. What? Oh, if you if you tie your hair, then you can do multiple things with it. Just we can make short hair proper. Why is it 
sticking out like that. It doesn't look natural. So sexy. And then he has highlights, girl. Just have gray hair, okay. Hair tips one. Bushy, why are you too bushy? Mm -hmm. 
That is so awful. Makeup. Oh, eyeliner. Okay, let's see. What was this one then? Oh no, we didn't pick one, did we? We did pick an eyeliner. I, you can barely see it. It's like on this, on the bottom eyelid. Maybe we'll just say no there and then just go with this one. See the eyelashes. God damn, that's pretty severe. Lash length. Oh, god damn. I've, I've, I've known guys with long lashes, though. Blush. No, no blush for him. Oh. 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 Actually, it looks pretty good. Um.
Jess. Jess. Oh no. Oh no. What's going on? You made him look like the Tagon from Arthel Chronicles minus the mustache. Yeah, I think my uh, my link uh, thing is still. Uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, put in, put the link in. I'm not sure if I have that activated or not. Let me see. Is there a way? Oh yeah, it's it's blocked. Hold on. <laughs> How do I even turn that off? I don't think I can do it from my OBS. Seems to work. Yeah, it, it's just showing. It's just showing asterisks. Um, hold on. Where is? Yeah, you can you can send a whisper. I just I just don't have Yeah, just just whisper it. I'll open the gap in a sec. Oh black uh fingernails. Oh no, white. White fingernails. No no, just pure white. Okay. <laughs> this is perfect. After all that customization, all we needed to do was Paint his face white. That's all we had to do. After all that. <laughs> okay, how do I access my whisper from the app? <laughs> Can you even access whispers from the app? Um, what would that be? My channel, my subscription, you know what, hold on. Ooh, I like this face though. I really like this face now. Um, did you, uh, did you send it? How do I, oh, there's a feed button now on Twitch. How do I check my messages? I don't know. <laughs> okay, hold on. I can I can do it from the uh, my PC though. Let me just do that real quick. That's easy. <laughs> oh, okay. That's that's fine. Hold on. I'll just dis disable it. Uh, yeah, I like this new face. It's like not that it's not like everyone can get into this channel anyway or want to be uh, if they follow um, because of my settings. So I can I can turn on like links because only people who really know me are gonna be here chatting with me or people who are actually not trolling. You know, like whoever that person was a couple of days ago. Um, let me just go to my. Um, is that a safety? Yeah, I can just turn off. Um, links I mean I, I mean turn off the moderation for it because that doesn't mean anything anymore because of my settings uh, where is that <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> you just watch too much East Asian series and movies. Oh, you is that like your favorite genres? Watching Asian movies, your favorite um, movie themes. Where is this shit? Um, you would think that it would be easy to find. Dashboard. Oh, all right here. Moderation. Okay. Now, where is the part about the links? Okay. Yeah, I, I took care of it. Okay. Cool. So yeah, just drop it in the uh, in the chat. Should be fine now. You're all in on Kurosawa movies? Oh, really? That's interesting. So what's your favorite uh, Akira Kurosawa movie? Okay, let's see what we can have here on his forehead. Oh, that is so kabuki. Okay, um. <gasps> Wow, that's too much though. I, I don't want him to be total kabuki. I just like this white face. And then we just put something, something degrading on his forehead. <laughs> something degrading on his forehead. <laughs> uh. This one, maybe? Hmm. The Hidden Fortress is great and the High Spirited and Rashomon, but it's so much grim. Yeah, I'm sure I've seen those, like at least once. Because, um,. I studied film um, during my um, undergraduate uh, years and we did um, a lot of Kurosawa. Alright, let's see. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not familiar who this guy is. So this guy is what? Um, a Japanese a actor? Oh no, that's Chinese, I think. Chinese actor? Yeah, yeah I've never seen him before. I guess you watch a lot of contemporary um, Asian movies. Yeah, like Korean or Chinese. Let's put this, I think. This is good. Okay. You can change the position. Okay. Uh, you can change the height. Oh. You can really go crazy with this. Um. You can change the color. Oh, that's good. Okay, maybe maybe a little bit chalky or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Yeah, Shine. It can be shiny. Why? Maybe a little shiny. Guys, this game is so stupid. Okay, and then you can add it. You can you can add more stuff. Okay, no, no. This is this is good enough. That's good enough. Um, That's good enough to mess with his face. Okay. Body. Oh, God. Um, let's see. Height. Okay, a little taller, maybe. Head size. Oh. Oh, people can go, like... <laughs> people can go crazy with this game. Hmm. 
I don't like the big head mode though in games, so. Okay, he shouldn't be like too muscular, I suppose. Um, I do a little bit of girth there. Um, since he's he's been swinging a lot of swords among other things, he can have like a little muscles, a little muscles on his arms, legs. Uh, okay, that's fine. Muscle mass? Hold on, what is this? Oh, just the overall look. Um, uh, it's more attractive actually when it's not bulging. Body hair? No, Japanese people don't have no body hair. What, what is this? <laughs> Japanese people have no body hair. Uh, okay. Um, no. No, 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 no. Alright. Body markings. Oh, and then now we can put more embarrassing things on his, on his body. Now. Oh, now we can have tattoos, I guess. Do we want him to have tattoos? No. <laughs> Not one strand. <laughs> uh, um, now, how? much can you uh, how much can you play with this can you put it all the way down to his crotch Is he ever gonna be showing his body though? I mean, it's. This is a waste of time. And I hate frogs anyway, so um, let me see. No, no tattoos. He doesn't have any tattoos. That's fine. Lower body markings? Hold on now. They just changed the game. Okay, hold on. Just want to see how you can play with this. <laughs> it's just. You can have like a crane flying in there. Maybe you can have two cranes and the other one flying the other way. Um, I don't think you can flip it. You can't flip them. Oh my god, it's time already. Jeez. <laughs> you can't flip them. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can flip them. Hold on, if you do right leg... Yeah, it's still facing the same direction, so you can't even flip them. So, it's a waste of time. Where else do they allow you? Right leg, left leg. <laughs> they didn't allow you to put on the butt. I guess you have to, um, you have to play with the horizontal position. Let's see. Oh, it's way down there. Hold on. Nah, you can't. Oh. Ah, oh, that's how they get away with it. They're like, yeah, you can just play with the horizontal position. Okay. 
Uh, no, 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 not tattoos. Lower body, body marking, and then there's one that says tattoo. Oh, oh, okay. Um, let's check out these options and see. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. Why does it have to have the, the red flowers in there? That's what... That's what I'm pretty... Uh, pretty apprehensive about selecting that one. Because it looks nice, but I don't like those red flowers. This one actually looks good, but <laughs> with this face, I don't know. It doesn't work. I guess the body marking is more for the geisha look. Let's see. I guess this looks okay. Wow, that is crazy. I know there are people with like full body um, tattoos. I've seen people who look like this one. But it's too much. I don't think he needs any tattoos. Okay. Um, voice. That's cool. Oh, oh, you can, uh, okay. What is this? Oh, okay. Oh, the, the option to, turn, to take off the clothes actually was right there. Yeah. Don't mess up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Don't mess up. The two of us are one. Let's go. Don't mess up. I like this one. Oh, you can change the pitch? That's cool. That's cool. Don't mess up. It's not even that high. That's cool. Don't mess up. That's cool. That's cool. Let's go. Don't mess up. Let's go. Don't mess up. Let's go. Don't mess up. That actually sounds pretty good. Okay. Um, all right. Now we have to we have to take care of her. So this is another like another hour. <laughs> I'm gonna get some water. I'll be right back. Uh, I'm gonna make it so pretty.
All right, bitch. Let's take care of your face. Um. Wait. If you change, hold on. Before I do anything. You can have two. Oh, they don't have to be both. They don't have to be male and female. They can actually be. Oh. Okay. Well, that's cool. So you can have two male characters. <laughs> I see. Nice. Look at these presets. Wait. <laughs> His twin is not going to be Japanese. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Oh, she's cute. the twin is like he's Asian and the twin is like of different race how does that work different species so they're not like real real twins I guess they just they just uh, the mom the parents like adopted the uh, the other twin the second half the other half <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna work. I like this one. I like this lady. She's cute. But I know we want to use this hair here, so let's let's start off with her. I think. Wait. Elbow and knee. Well, what is what? I didn't do that with the uh, with the other character. Hold on, I didn't play with the base. Huh? Okay. Oh, here's the skin color. Wait, they won't allow you to to do the uh, to customize it to white to match the um, that paint. I guess you can't. I guess this is the uh, closest. Okay, pick that. Custom color now. Custom color. They, they don't allow you to uh, go crazy with that. This looks a little greenish, actually. Yeah, they look a little greenish. Got the carbon type. Skin texture, hey, we miss all this. <laughs> it's not like you can see it anyway, because of the freaking powder on his face.
You know, we need to take care of this makeup first, because uh, we're not going to see a lot of this shit. Um, maybe we should just... Oh, hold on. So using a preset, we should just use... Oh no, that was a different preset. Okay, you know what? No, no, it's fine. Okay, no face paint. Okay, good. How about you make a ninja turtle but not just plain white? <laughs> like a kappa turtle. Yeah, it's so weird. It's like... You can see that it's like a green tinge. There's a green tinge to that one skin color. I. It's very strange. Oh God. She's on Ozempic too. Oh no. the bite over bite see what this one is I don't see it that I do see oh she's been doing a lot of thinking Why is her eyebrow color? <laughs> Maybe we can give her the dots.
up. No, the dot needs to be up. I think that's good. No, the dot needs to be in the center. <laughs> Wait, why is it thickness that makes it go all the way up? Huh? His eyes are too big. <laughs> Why is it connected to the eye size left? Oh, eye size left, eye size right. Okay. Because it's not symmetrical. Oh, that's why. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let's check the eye type. Yeah, look for the shifty eyes. Like she's thinking bad things. It's between these two. I guess this one's good. You need to be smaller though. There we go. <laughs> the crazy eyes. You need to be poking out more, maybe? Yeah. No, you need to go a little bit sunken. Yeah, you can't see that, that's right. Give her the bags. Puffiness. That's it for the eyes? Oh, that's right. Because <laughs> the eyes are scary, like shifty eyes are better. <laughs> yeah, that actually works pretty good. Nose is okay, I think. Always, what is this? Oh, nose position. Oh, it was all the way up earlier. Yeah. Nose angle. That's bridge height. Oh, a witchy woman. Where is this? Oh, that needs to be. Yeah, it's this. Small one. This one is five. I do not even see what is this news nose root. I don't even see anything. Okay. No 
nose wing? Oh. You mean nostrils? <laughs> okay, so now we know that they're just making shit up. What do you mean nose wings? <laughs> nostrils. Nose wing my ass. Okay, I think for her we can give it like a little, little bloody. <laughs> oh, it's so disgusting. Just a little bloody. Okay, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that the uh, lips have presets. Okay. No, I think we, we... Oh, wow. She got some collagen then. Both not gonna smile. I should give her the uh, the cupid's bow. It doesn't even it doesn't even create the cupid shape. <laughs> Man eat it. <laughs> I don't remember what that does or what it's where it's supposed to be. Oh, down there. Okay. The uh, philtrum, which we know at this point is probably also made up, <laughs> because what what are nose wings? Ears. Oh, you can't even see her ears. Okay. You know what? We'll keep everything else. Okay. That is the hair we want. Looks like you have a gray hair. The gray is not showing though. Oh, oh because it's. Okay, I need to switch it to white. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> she can have facial hair. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. No, no. Okay. They gave it this one, huh? Okay. I think these are like a more more modern shapes though, because I don't think they they have this like back then. I don't know, I might be wrong. I don't think this game's supposed to be histor historically accurate. Oh, 
that's kind of sexy. She's starting to look a little crazy. Make it super shiny. I can't even see it because of the white um, <laughs> shadow is like, are you serious? It's, oh no, hold on, because of the opacity, I think. I can't see it. Where is it? <laughs> oh, I can kind of barely see it. It's under the other one. Why is it under the other one? It should be over. Why is that one like so strong that it takes over everything? can't see it. Oh, because of an eyelid. It's like, because <laughs> I made an eyelid like go all the way back. You don't even see it. Oh, that is crazy. That is like crazy. It's one of these eyelid um, options. It's like it's pulling her eyelids in. I don't know which one. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Because I can't play around with this second one. Um, I can kind of if I choose a certain type and it goes to the edge. But you can barely see it. Let me use that one then. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's that's cute enough. Oh, we'll give you the best fucking lashes. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. We should give it this one. The clump lashes. Oh, this one actually better. This one's better, I think. Eyelash color.
need to change her lips, I think. So you can see the severity of this. She's a cold hearted bitch. <laughs> Apparently, they blackened their teeth as well. Because the white chalky face paint made their regular tooth color look too yellow by comparison, so they blackened their teeth with ink to make the white contrast become stronger in their face. That makes sense, I guess. Uh, blush height. <gasps> oh my god, she's so villain. Okay, we'll put on her... Yeah, right here. It doesn't go beyond though, I mean, the problem. Okay, yeah, right here is fine. Whoa, yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> Needs to be opaque. Okay. I love it. No, she doesn't need the face paint. Her brother needs the face paint, not her. Wait, we forgot the toenail for the for the guy. <laughs> and it's white. And for her, it's black. Okay, when you said this would be a while. Yeah, whenever I do um, character customization, it takes me forever. In any game that has character customization. Because <laughs> I, I mess around too much. Okay, I don't think she needs additional shit on her face. Okay. I think she's fine there. Let's take care of her body now. Uh, make her just, I guess, taller? Do we want her taller than her brother? Uh, no, a little smaller maybe. 
Wait, they make her head size smaller <laughs> than the body? Really? No. Big bosoms. She needs all the bosoms. Uh, a little bit of muscle, I guess, on both. No muscle mass. Oh, chest type. Oh, it's it's a oh cleavage. <laughs> yes, all the cleavage. Yes, please. Should we give her a tattoo? Maybe that one. You were here when I was uh, playing Skyrim, yeah. <laughs> Which is funny because Skyrim is not even that extensive. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I, I, I will find a way. Because I want to make sure that my character is going to look good. Like I'm going to be okay playing that character. That's that's enough. She she has her um, questionable tattoo already. Okay. It's not centered though. I don't know why it's not centered. Oh, here we go. That's better. No. Oh, it is kind of centered. I guess it's the art itself is kind of wonky. Okay, that's. No, move it a little bit. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. The two of us are one. Let's go. Let's go. Don't mess up. The two of us are one. Let's go. Don't mess up. Let's go. Don't mess up. The two of us are one. Don't oh. forget this. Oh, I love that. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay. Um. Override. I don't even know they're really twins. Okay. Her head does seem like it's bigger than her body. Okay, hold on. Maybe that's why they reduce it a little bit. It could be just the, um, the headdress though, I don't know. Okay, I think I think we're, we're set. Finalize settings. 
setting up your veil edges as a swordsmith polishes a blade so too does the bladesmith sharpen the veil edges of the in their charges choose the blade sharpening origin to determine the veil edges initial in abilities and special skills as well as the weapons in which they excel that <laughs> that's the dream girl right there Okay, whatever that means. Um, killer. What is this? Well, this is weird. Um, okay, killer. Learn the way of the veil edge passed down for generations. Cut down those who stand in your way and strike fear into your enemies. Learn the art of ninjutsu to complete highly dangerous missions. Train in utilizing various equipment and can assassinate multiple enemies at once. Seducer? Learn the art of being charismatic. Oh no, I guess this is what I'm gonna pick. Charismatic and charming. Efficient and practice movements allow for efficient key usage. And you will also be very clever with your words to deceive people. Yeah, I like that. Speechcraft liar, okay. <laughs> Learn a wide range of knowledge required for a spy. Adept in handling firearms and medical practice also excels at negotiations. A novice with a wide range of special skills at their disposal. Because of the unfinished nature of their training, these veil edges are full of possibilities and more than others are capable of learning a multitude of special skills. That said, their lack of specialization may hold them back from unlocking their true potential. Oh, unsharpened, a weakling whose ineptitude has resulted in their lack of blade sharpening origin. These veil edges know only the most best basic of skills and have poor attributes to boot. Their ability to survive in a cruel world such as ours is really a sign of their inordinate luck. Okay, let's go seducer. Seducer. Oh! <laughs> so perfect for each other oh did you put that that link in here oh you did okay let me oh i already clicked on that <laughs> totally forgot. all right let's see it was that actor from earlier yeah okay wait what is this do we play as the crazy bitch or the <laughs> Creepy bastard. <laughs> Let's go with the crazy bitch first. Oh my god, they're both they're both kind of creepy. Oh my god, this character is so good now. I think with with the powder powdered face. Follow me. What? Follow him? Okay. Vale Edge Village. Okay. Oh, look at the chicken. Let's punch, let's punch some chicken. She couldn't even kill that chicken. Okay. Dang, this 15 FPS is really impressive. Select weapon. The two weapons you choose here will be your initial weapons. The weapon best suited. What? Why is that so quick? Oh, they recommend that we use the pole arm. Which spear? Katana, pole arm. It's best to go with something that suits you. 
Okay. Press again to unleash a barrage of attack. All attacks with our key is indicated by the blue gauge. Practice attacking against some bales of straw. The charge attack is not working. Okay, so we can choose two weapons. Katana, spear, paired swords, Oh, Odachi. I think I'm um, repaired oh, swords. That one, eh? Be sure you take some time to get a feel for it. Oh, but you don't even see him carrying the second weapon. That's that's kind of lame. Switch. Oh. I think I like the paired sword. I want the pair sword and I guess this thing and the full arm. Okay. okay. You're happy with that then? Um So what do they recommend for Seducer? Oh, the um, the Odachi. Okay, you know what? They didn't even. Did they say recommended? It doesn't even say recommended. I can have both of these, it's fine. You're happy with that then? Oh, it looks like he's carrying the other weapon. That's interesting. Is that a katana or is that I I can't tell. Oh hold on. Um No, it's supposed to be something else for the seducer. What is that big cleaver thing? I don't think it's here. Because I think what we're Odachi is like that one. Hold on. I don't see the big like the big cleaver thing. I these are the only two I see. Maybe it's not available now. 
Because they would have said You're recommended. Still not done yet. No, I'm not done yet, motherfucker. Just shut up. Because I think it says recommended if you approach it. No? Maybe it's a katana? Hold on. You're happy with that then? A wooden naginata? Okay, let's see. Um, okay, I think this is right now. Hold on. I know it's hard to decide. Oh. But we don't have all day. Shut up. Shut up, freak. Um, no. You know what? The closest thing to it is this. I don't think this is it. Oh, oh, it's right here. No. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Let's go. You still not done yet? <laughs> I'm happy with that thing. Yes, I'm happy. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Training or not? Oh! Ow! Don't be like that, ass. Ow! Help me! Oh. Take your dignity. Oh, press up. Uh, okay. It's a uh, oxtail blade. It's the cleaver. Chinese cleaver. You can't kill the chicken. Oh. You coming or what? Dang, I don't know about this 15 FPS. Can we? Oh. Pro X ex extend skill points and acquire special skills. Okay, I don't have any points right now. One of the engineers recall important events. A review tutorial you've seen so far. Yeah. Okay. Vale Edge One. Vale Edge Two. Bladesmith. Oh, that's the lady in the um, in the CG. Um, the beginning intro. Real name and origin unknown. Trains Vale Edge warriors for the Kurosa clan. Rescued the protagonist and their blade twin when the village was burned down by Shogunate spies and raised them as a Vale unit. How come I couldn't change the name? Did I miss that during the character creation? Was I supposed to put their names in? I don't think... I don't think there was a section for, for the name. One half of a Vale Edge, a twin warrior unit specially trained by the Kurosa clan to oppose the Shogunate overlords. They lost their family where their native village was raised by Shogunate spies. Together with their blade twin, they were taken by the bladesmith, a veteran warrior who trained them in the Vale arts. But why is the name Vale Edge? 
1 and 2. They recommend them, they both scale their damage on the charisma attribute. One half of a veil edge, twin warrior, you know, okay, I think it's the same thing. So, um, I just don't like the, the name. I don't remember. Oh, there's a lot of shit here. Small clan, the Ho Hokuriku region, which suffered under the heavy taxation and forced labor policies foisted upon by the Shogunate. As tensions escalate, escalated, it secretly began to raise Veil Edges, twin warrior units possessed of a unique skill set. The military government quartered in Edo, the Shogun holds supreme power and under him served the chief minister and council of deputy ministers. Descendants of Ieyasu Tagugawa, the architect of the Shogunate, have served as its head for generations. Daimyos throughout the land are granted control of their regions in exchange for the promise of military service to Shogunate. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't remember seeing the name. Are you serious? I can't, I can't change the graphics mode from within the game. Hold on. <laughs> Are you serious? You can't even change it on the fly. Oh, visuals, visuals. Oh, here we go. Frame rate limit. Unavailable when... <laughs> what? Off. Okay, so if you set this off, what happens? So you force the frame rate with the ray tracing? I mean, the frame rate is a lot better, but how bad is it going to be? Um, use key to unleash powerful attacks. Each martial artist has special attributes and they modify by repeating, pressing, or holding the button. Exhaust an enemy's key using martial art skills and other attacks. With their stance broken, they'll be unable to move again. We should have a saving strike. Okay. Right. Let's rimba up, shall we? <laughs> Fully deplete the enemy key stands and take advantage of opening lines to the Seems like they don't let you name the characters. Okay, cool. Say nameless is in the story. Yeah. Would have been nice if they allow you to name them. So now that I, I unlock the FPS, does what does this mean? This is so weird. So graphics mode is ray tracing, and I, and then I turn off. The FPS limit, and it works. It, it runs nice. So what am I missing? <laughs> is, is this still ray tracing mode? <laughs> Let's see. So if I limit that again. 
It seems like it's the same graphics. I mean, I, I still haven't seen really any real ray tracing, fancy ray tracing in this game. So, I don't know. Oh, it seems like the glow is gone. Maybe when you turn that off, the ray tracing is gone. I, I don't know. I think they have, uh, what, what is that called? The, um, forgot the technique. The, um, I forgot the technique where there's a uh, outside light, the overall world light. Let's see if it's gone. I... This is very confusing. I think it's still there. I don't know. Okay, you know what? And then it seems like you can't even... Okay, this object can be changed. Can only be changed from the title screen. Oh, so right now it's still ray tracing, but with the frame limit off. Oh, I see, I see a frame drop. So maybe they allow you to try and push the FPS. Oh, and okay. So you get like an inconsistent experience or something. Interacting with the Veil Edge banner will restore your health as well as replenish your medicinal pills and projectiles. If you want it, it will also cause the enemies to reappear. This game is a Souls-like? When you run out of health or restart the game, you'll return to the last Veil Edge banner and you interacted with what else last checkpoint that you passed. I thought this was an open world um, samurai um, game. Like, um, what's the other one that I played a little bit of? Um, Ghost of Tsushima. This is a Souls like? Oh no, I didn't know this was the souls like. Time to begin. My fault for not doing my, you know, diligent research on the game. It has counter mechanics. Oh no. The affecting times with counter sparks will cause the enemies to become temporary panic, opening for you to be measured. Okay, red gauge. You can deflect the repeated attack of an enemy combo using counter sparks, but please note that deflecting one attack in a combo will not cause an enemy to become panicked. So rather than focus on deflecting everything, it may be blessed best to block. What? You can deflect the repeated attacks of an enemy combo using counter spark. But please note that deflecting one attack in a combo. But they're all gonna combo, right? So you can't this is stupid. They're always trying to make it as complicated as possible. So the the last attack in the combo is what they're saying that you should you should uh, counter. Hmm. 
The best way to drain the enemy key is to first reduce the maximum key. Panic enemies with counter sparks and then attacks to significantly reduce their key, making it easier for you to fully deplete their key. In such a situation, use the martial arts martial skills to prove more effective than Okay. Oh, I know you're angry. You'll have to do better. <laughs> Carefully deplete the key. Uh, once the enemy has been incapacitated and lock on, uh, you will. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Execute it. You've improved. Oh, you have like a buddy yes. with you. You did well. Next, you will fight me. I will face the both of you. Bitch. Okay, so she has a three head combo. Come on, bitch. Mm, cry, bitch. Cry. Oh, no. You can switch control between the veil edge at any time. Assigning you a new mission. The black ships from America are anchored off the coast at Yokohama. Sneak aboard and steal the secret message in Commodore Perry's possession. And if the opportunity arises, kill Perry. Understood? You dare question your master? <laughs> what? Well, if you insist. The Shogunate has made a deal with the Americans. That is reason enough for us to strike. This is the day our clan has long prepared for, when we finally go to war with the Tokugawa. This is an order. Failure is not an option. Are you ready to head for the black ships? Um, not yet. Finish your business. There's no time to lose. Okay, so that's it's interesting, I guess. You got the switch. 
Oh, I can't switch now. Only doing battle. Oh, you can you can switch it out. No, I think both weapons are fine. I mean, they both play almost the same anyway. It's not martial arts story unless you get hit by an elder person with a stick. Yeah, it's interesting. The only part I don't like about this game is like it's kind of Souls-like. Why does everything have to be like Souls-like? Was it just to switch the weapons? Oh, that's funny. Are they both using the same weapon? Oh, oh yeah, because I guess you can switch weapons in a time. Um, by how do you switch weapons? Are you ready to head for the black ship? I know you will not let me down. Now move. Oh. start wait we have to swim why they got they have sharks oh no Con R3. Locking the camera to the enemy make him facing you as I see enemy health gain. Yeah. Oh, Assassinate. Oh god! Stab in the ass. Check out what's out down there. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Accessories, weapons, which I'm gonna have around. Stat aptitudes, equip them, they're suited your skills to get really get most out of them. L2, detail the stats. 
Criminal uh, presets. View the items in your position. View the status and current title. Three FPS mode. How do you get up? Oh, oh, there's the uh, the hook mechanics. That's right. Yep. What is it? R two. Oh, the corpses are still here. Types of icon, normal enemies, formidable foe. You have taken out the leader, they will no longer reappear. Oh, okay. Oh shit. How do you um oh. crouch L3 uh, approach enemy without being noticed, press uh, triangle allows this crouch enemy. Note that you will not be able to assassinate for nimble foes in one uh, fell swoop. No shit. Except in um in uh, Assassin's Creed actually you might be able to. Oh Odyssey. They like to stab him in the butt. Oh my lord. Oh! I guess he didn't hear the cries of his son. Uh, red. Oh! Wait, you can decapitate them? Okay. This game is kind of cool. Outside of the 15 FPS. 
ray tracing mode. This game is kind of cool. Deflecting enemy gunfire and other such attacks with well timed counter sparks will temporarily set your weapons ablaze. Now nah, they're just crazy. Oh! That's difficult! Okay, here we go. You're gonna burn, bitch. Oh, no! Rifle? Noisy but enable powerful range attacks. Landing a headshot will greatly increase the damage. So how do I use the rifle? I can't even use the rifle. Oh, it's already there, okay. Looks pretty busy. You are too loud. Are those ray trace shadows? Wow, it's so basic. <laughs> These are not like PC ray tracing. <laughs> if those are supposed to be ray trace, it's not very impressive. <laughs> I guess we need to be in an open world with a lake or a reflective surface to see the quality of ray tracing. What? You can use a grappling rope as a weapon. No, I'm too fast for this game when locked to an enemy. Also, certain objects like explosive barrels can be thrown at an enemy.
Oh, for those two coming with highly versatile technique, they're both. I don't understand this. Sub weapon. Wait, those are just lackeys? Oh, because, ah, oh, shit. Saber. Why are we still carrying the wooden Odachi? That's funny. Where are we supposed to go? the Commodore cabin. It's not over there apparently, huh? Well, this one is, um, even that one. You would think it would be here. I guess it's not here. Whoa, 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 no, no, no. Shh, shh, shh. Shh. Shit. 
How the fuck? Why is this mission so confusing? Okay, it's... Perry's report. Mummy or Ryu, the martial arts style of the Karusa clan. Its founder is unknown. The unique style is most effective when performed with a partner. Its practitioner, also known as Bale Edges, initiates and assigns his counterpart a blood blade to him from a young age so they will be perfectly in tune with each other in the field. In addition to being trained in the art of various deadly weapons, they are encouraged to assimilate martial techniques picked up from their enemies. Bale Edges are capable of drawing on the force of their opponents by a defensive maneuver known as the Counter Spark. Mount Fuji, tallest mountain in Japan, its awe-inspiring presence has made it an object of spiritual devotion since ancient times. 
a scene in literary works such as the Man Manyoshu, an anthology of 8th century Japanese poems, The Tale of the Bamboo Cutter, written in the 9th or early 10th century. Its most famous depiction in visual art comes from Hokusai's 36 views of Mount Fuji. In 1707, a huge volcanic eruption burst from Mount Fuji, raining ash upon Edo for over 10 days. I was looking for that, what we picked up there. A parody manifest, where can I see that? Is that like a piece of lore? What what is it? <laughs> I'm expecting too much from this game apparently. Um Because I don't see it. Is it just something that you pick up and you don't you don't get to view what what it says? Oh, here it is. A report written by the captain of the black ship. <laughs> Oh, there it is. I was just like, yeah, there's no description of what it is. Um, report written by Commodore Perry intended for the U.S. government. Though at face value, it describes a method of hunting a monstrous whale. On closer inspection, it reveals Perry has attended covert meetings with the upper echelons of the Shogunate with the aim of opening J Japan's borders, a goal numerous parties have been working towards for many years without success. Find Commodore Perry. Where would it be? This country will have one up at long last. After an epic voyage, I will where all others fail. Double stab. Japan. The great white whale that's eluded to all others. But my vision is clear. And my harpoon ready. Unconscious parts. Thank you. 
my god. I guess you're meant to die here, because this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is stupid. Dragon. No. No. Oh my god. Are you th fucking kidding me? We're gonna kill off one person? It took me hours to make these characters. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. They should have let you customize them first. I like both of them. Wow. was the only trace that remained. Information added. Oh, now they're calling her protagonist. <laughs> At the behest of the bladesmith, 
the protagonist in the Blade Twin Infiltrate. One of the black ships, uh, black ships to steal a secret message and assassinate Commodore Matthew Perry. All appears to be going well until the mission is thwart, thwarted by the Blue Demon, who defeats the Blade Twin and wounds the protagonist. Barely escaping with the message they were tasked with stealing, the protagonist returns to the Vale Edge village, where they stand before the grave of their Blade Twin. Convinced that their counterpart is still alive, they resolve to forsake everything in the hope of reuniting one day. I guess it's possible for him to still alive, be alive and has like a metal metal arm. Matthew Perry? From Friends? He passed away last year. Commodore of the United States Navy at the order of President Millard Fillmore, his fleet of black ships circumnavigated the globe to negotiate the opening of Japan's ports for trade. He is determined to compel the opening of Japan before any other Western power. Whoops. Let's see what it says about the Blade Twin. Um. Whom the Blade Twin distracts at the cost of an arm. All people are uh, doing well. Uh, allowing the protagonist to escape. When the dust settles, the Blade Twin is nowhere to be found, having left behind only their scarf. Ah, uh, yeah, he's still alive somewhere, I guess. <laughs> they just wanted to make it traumatizing. <laughs> yeah, he isn't really dead. Maybe you can get him back something. Yeah, because if they're saying that, it's like... The only thing they found was the scarf. I'm sure that he's somewhere with a metal arm. Wait, what's going on? Why is it why is it burning? Oh, what the heck? an attack R1, blade flash, sh shake off, blood stains to replenish key based on blood stain amount used between attacks for various reactions. Each attack with your primary weapon increases the amount of blood on it. The gauge displayed below the primary weapon icon indicates how bloody the weapon is. Okay. <laughs> Can we just slit his throat or something? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Metal arm gets berserk style. If I touch this, so that guy's gonna come back. Fight off Shogunade assassin attacking the vill edge village and join the bladesmith. You know, this game, uh, it it feels like, you know, it looks like a, um, it feels and looks like a PlayStation 3 game, a good PlayStation 3 game, you know, it's like, <laughs> it looks really rough. Um, Ghost of Tsushima definitely looks a lot better than this. But they but they're doing some interesting things though, like I like the double attack thing. Um I'm sure you're gonna get find another partner. Um I like the, the, the twist and turn so far. But yeah, the gameplay is not the best. And the um the whole um, bonfire thing is—is is it really necessary? <laughs> I 
does everything have to be bonfires and revive, reviving enemies in the areas and all that? You know, does it doesn't have to be that. I really thought that this game was an open world, uh, like samurai and ninja game. Um, similar to Ghost of Tsushima, you know? Like Ghost of Tsushima with a little bit more edge was what I was expecting. Like the boss, the boss fight just now wasn't it wasn't fun at all. Oh. She's not burning. You know the whole dependency on special moves and that you have to deflect and uh, it's just it takes away a lot when you have to like every single battle is all about deflecting and. Like, you can't just combo an enemy. Like, after you combo them, after you deflect them, you can only combo a little bit, and then they start attacking you. It's like... Does everything have to be that complicated in the game? Why can't we just... Why can't we just have a little bit more fun? You know, why can't I just slash some enemies and just... You know... Cut them to pieces. without having to deflect and doing all these fancy shit. <laughs> the souls like design is just lazy, that's why they do it, yeah. It's a lot easier to put bonfires, just light them up and resting at taverns. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed. I mean, the reason why I got this was, one, it was on sale. M2, you know, I, I need I need stuff for my PS5 because it's just collecting dust over there and not being played, so I, I like having stuff that I can just... I, I like having stuff for it, so it's, it mo motivates me to uh, turn it on. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> It's two versus one. And they're always blocking. These guys are always blocking too. It's annoying to fight against. Oh my god, now there are three of them? Come on now. Jesus Christ. Oh god. Like all the enemies are always blocking, all the time. You know, you gotta make the the player feel. You know, I I can understand trying to make it difficult or whatever, but that's not the way to do it. <laughs> uh, okay, now now I'm almost out of health, so now I have to do this, and then now they all come back, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm done with this game for now. I'm I'm a little disappointed with this game. Why are you always blocking? God. It's like you can't even use your special moves or anything. You know, it's like every time you use a special move, they're just gonna block anyway. Like their special move, you have to do you have to dodge or deflect. Your special move, these guys can just block.
<laughs> yeah, bitch is dead. Yeah, the uh, the combat is not good. I can I can tell you that for this game, the combat is not good at all. And the funny thing is, I did I watched somebody stream this game. I, I I don't like to spoil the fun, you know. So I only watch a little bit of it because I was like, okay, I'm interested in getting this game. It's on sale right now. Let me let me, let me check it out. And then I went to a couple of channels on Twitch. And I guess while I was watching them, they were like on a mission, and I didn't see any of this is these issues I'm seeing now, because they were able to assassinate like their targets like quickly. And I was like, yeah, this is kind of fun. This is probably just like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, you know, Ghost of Tsushima, a typical open world game, you know, and <laughs> and then I ended up with this. <laughs> Yeah, I th I think it opens up later because I've I've seen where people are just traversing stuff. I think it opens up, but it's just this combination of wanting to be open world and wanting to be um I guess it's and then they and then of course now we're stuck in these like stage areas before it even becomes open world. It's just uh yeah, it's a little much. I'm trying to remember. Does Ghost of Tsushima? Ghost of Tsushima also has a um, a deflect. Um, yeah, you can also deflect in in that game, encounter and all that. But I think it's very forgiving because they know that if it's too tight, people are not trying to play Sekiro. You know, I mean, if they want if they want like tight counter deflect. Then we will just play Sekiro. Why would we play anything else? That's like the most hardcore one out there. If we just want to deflect all day. <laughs> you know? It's like... Really? Does this game have to be like Sekiro Jr.? <laughs> it's funny. See, I mean, Ghost of Tsushima knows that, oh yeah, we better not make this tight. Because if we make this tight, no one's, no one's going to enjoy themselves like going places, going to, through the open world and and just try and kill people. You know, um, not make it too difficult, not make the combat too difficult, you know, it, it's, there's a balance to it, you know, I mean, and, and this, and I know they're trying to just be a little bit more hardcore with this game, apparently. Because if not, then they, they'd just be like Ghost of Tsushima clones. And then the graphics is really rough. I'll, I'll try these guys again. Oh god. See, every time you use... Oh, god. And then they can use their fucking ability all the freaking time. And then you have to learn these attacks all the freaking time. God damn. Besides, you want to feel like you're kick-ass, you know, like you're, you're badass, kick-ass motherfucker, you know, when you're playing a game like this. You don't want to feel like, oh god. I'm surprised that that guy didn't block. 
<laughs> because they all block. I bet this dog knows how to block too. Okay, the, so the dog doesn't block. Okay, the wolf doesn't block. <laughs> I would be so pissed if that wolf is able to block. <laughs> Block with their teeth. Uh -huh. I would be so pissed. Yeah. Oh my god, I don't even have any more health. So now I have to go back and and redo this whole section again. Because I don't have any more um, health uh, potions. Or health beads, whatever they're called here. Yeah, I'm dead. I am dead. I'm so dead! Uh, the wolf pulls out a sword, Dark Souls boss down the flex field. <laughs> yeah, I would be so pissed if the wolves in this game can block. They were dodging though, I, I did notice that it was dodging but it wasn't able to escape. Maybe I need to switch weapons or something. What happened to my, um, oh. When did I get this weapon? Hold on. Oh, it was it was the uh, the real weapon version of that. Okay, of this one. Okay. So maybe I need to switch back to the pole arm. Oh, but the damage on the pole arm is shit. So it's either the saber or the odachi. And the damage is crazy! Oh god damn. Why are they doing such crazy damage? I don't even think I'm getting XP or anything. So what's the point of repeating sections? Oh shit. the blood. How do you clean the blood? I think it's supposed to hit. There you go. Oh god, and immediately uses your freaking special weapon? What? 
is this game? What is this game? <laughs> it came out of hiding and immediately uses a special weapon. It's so crazy. I mean, special technique. Oh my god! Why is all the enemies are like mini bosses? God damn! Can I just execute while they're talking? At the same time, it's impossible. Maybe this weapon is definitely better, it has range. Can I just get to the sensei please? Is this the wrong way now? more ambushes. You need my help? I need your help, bitch. The sound that she makes whenever she gets hit. I cannot let you leave. 
Are you serious? There's no way I can beat this bitch. She can deflect my freaking attacks. Can you be my twin? <laughs> Bitches, be my twin. <laughs> oh no! My twin, just be my twin, bitch. Can't finish the job. You always were soft. You've been the same ever since I took you in. They were so lazy with the uh, dialogues too, like re referring to the twin as they. <laughs> they can't just like record two lines. You're looking for them. Ever since I lost my blade twin, I had to live with the pain of surviving. Execute. I just execute her before she gets eaten by the dog. Take the path by the giant tree to elude the Huguenot agents. Now go! Your own life and die your 
Three hour freaking prologue. Live your own life, die your own death. Map is pretty big. Blacksmith's upgrade or equipment, transfer special effects from our equipment and next. Is there fall damage? Oh, probably. <laughs> I was thinking of jumping down, but probably would have been a bad idea. I like how she just slaps that iron ore to dislodge it. <laughs> the ones in the The grassy fields in um, Ghost of Tsushima actually looks more convincing. And this is the newer game. And that game was a PlayStation 4, uh, PlayStation 4 game, really, actually, you know. And this is supposedly made specifically for the PlayStation 5. Can I kill that bunny? Bunny, where are you going? Bunny! Oh, you have to hit R1 to collect. Okay, R1. You can't, you can't kill it. You have to collect it. That was some prologue. I feel beat up just having watched it. Yeah, it was too long. It was way too long. And it was kind of stupid, like... 
Oh no. Oh no, that's a bad person? The, um... Like you have to kill each other? Why do we have to kill each other? We're both on the same clan just because she needs to go find her, um... Her twin. And then she ended up, you know, giving, giving her the blessing to go find her twin anyway. It doesn't make any sense. Are these guys, like, friendly? So what's the deal? Um, hello? Oh no, they're not! What? No! Even you have super special attack! Why? You're just some random bandit. guys cool I mean I I couldn't tell yeah after using that disappearing powder you're just gonna get <laughs> you're just gonna get executed I thought they were gonna give me some quests. Oh, Feldian one. Areas preoccupied with troublemakers will suffer from disruption of public order. Okay. Defeating all the troublemakers in the unruly area will strengthen your bond with that area, allowing the inhabitants to move freely and earning special rewards. Can cannot use Veil Edge banners around until public order of the area has been restored. Oh, what? Oh, this whole area. God damn. What is that noise? Hey, you there. You're a traveler, I take it. If I were you, I'd avoid the village beyond here. Bandits have moved in and made it their den. I came all this way to peddle my wares, but it's left me in a bind. The checkpoint's just up the road, too. How on earth did they let this happen? If you're determined to go, then take this with you. It should serve to distract the bandits, at least. Um, earthen, earthen wear ball. Okay. Where's the earthen wear ball? Wait, you don't have anything else to say? Oh, even that one. Okay, so... see these guys where are they
Oh. And anyone else here? No, just him. Okay. <laughs> Can you kill them from here and they don't know who, where the attack is coming from? I wonder. Oh yeah, they don't know where it's coming from. Nice. Oh. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. I blew their heads off? Wow. <laughs> that's fucked up. Wow, he had diarrhea from that too. Look at that. Dang. Okay, uh, two more enemies. Oh, that's the boss enemy, okay. Is he the only one he- oh. Oh, we gotta kill that one first, okay. Don't turn around! Ow! Train the area bond to increase bond level and reveal hidden information for that area on your map. Gather all the collectibles in given area and you're rewarded with completion reward. You can view collection rates in various areas from the menu map bonds screen. Okay. Um, what I will, oh. Keep an eye on your run and bonds in historic area. Completing missions are tasked with a run will increase your run and bonds, which will turn in turn bring you items to increase your influence. Okay. I like how they're using the 
your, your character 3D model. That's that's cool. Um, but I want to check out what I just got. I got a mask or something. Where, where is that? <laughs> okay, this game is cool. <laughs> they did an anime reference you were thinking about? No, 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 How do you, how do you sheath your weapon? Oh. I was thinking of Demon Slayer anime and they called the old lady a swordsmith. So what is this thing about collecting... Veil Banner, Public Order, 1 out of 2. Oh, oh, I see. And then there's something else here. What is that? Oh, no, that's done. Place a marker. Well, I guess the other one then, then, real quick. Where's that? Okay. That's the daily mask for blacksmiths has potting mouth to blow air into the fire to stoke the heat. Oh shit. What was that? Was somebody shooting at me? Somebody shooting at me. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Bitch, you got played.
bastard. Shit. No doggy, no doggy, please. Thankfully, the boss didn't notice. It's too busy uh, daydreaming. Defeating enemies earn your karma when you max out your karma gauge, interact with Veil Edge Banner, or completing mission to convert your karma, earning your skill points. Uh, increasing your karma level will earn you rare skill points required to learn certain special skills. Okay. Experience points can be earned with defeating enemies, finishing missions, uh, level up, raising their stats, and granting them skill points. Okay, so I guess multiple ways to earn skill points. I think Ooh, dandy pole arm. Set equipment bonus additional effects, active effect. So bonus is different for each equipment and easier to obtain high rarities. Easier to obtain the high rarity level is on your what? Easier to obtain the higher the rarity level is on your equipment. 
set bonus is different for each equipment piece of equipment and easier to obtain the higher the rarity level of your equipment okay You don't even see it, flint and steel set one accessory. You don't see your accessories, huh? Public order, fugitive, landmark, shrine, cat, and treasure chest. Treasure chest. How do we even know? Oh, okay. So the other one is over there. So the rest you have to find for yourself. Okay. Yeah, when you're not focused on just like fighting. Alright, doing all the mini quests and stuff. The game seems to be okay. Gentleman's gloves. Its ability to flourish in the filthiest swamps has made a symbol of Buddhist teachings. Oral med medicine reputed to cure any ailment, though effective in treating illnesses and even open wounds, entirely useless against cholera. Black and bitter herbal medicine, which has been worked into an easy to swallow pill form. Okay. <laughs> It'll do. find a cat and stuff. There's like a cat thing. Is it a cat statue or a real cat? Cat. So there are two cats. Probably real cats that you have to find. Alright, well we're done. I am done with this game for now. Oh, were, you, were we supposed to save the game? <laughs> I haven't <laughs> saved all this time. Can you imagine? I come back to the game, it's like I have to play the whole thing from the beginning. That would have been awful. Flying mess.
Have we seen this intro? No. Oh, look at the spoiler. Did you see that? He was walking and then and then there's another samurai with with a metal arm, metal hand. And they were going to fight and then they discovered each other. It's like, "Oh yeah, you're my twin." Dang, I shouldn't have noticed that. Oh, now you have the old character actually sitting in the uh, in the grass. <laughs> they have a spoiler in the intro. Can you imagine that? Crazy. They couldn't just make that like... They couldn't just like not show that at all? <laughs> One of the people who who used um, who stopped by my channel during my early days of streaming, I like to spoil everything. Is working for Sony now, or working for um, Namco Ban uh, Bandai Namco? Oh, Tecmo, Tecmo Koei. This is Tecmo Koei. <laughs> That's crazy. They shouldn't put that in the intro. Why do they have to put it in the intro? It's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I think Ghost of Tsushima is better. This one has character though. Ghost of Tsushima is kind of flat. This one has character. <laughs> it's got style. They probably didn't have any better idea for the cinematic. Yeah, that's a big reveal. Somebody messed up. It's probably one of those uh, things where, uh, like, the head of the um, development team is supposed to put things together, and the team's not working in sync. You know, you have a separate department just completely doing whatever they want for that CG. <laughs> and nobody noticed. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to um, take a break. I'll be back a little later. Um, probably going to play Fallout or something. We'll see. We'll have to come back to this game though, that's for sure. Because it, it seems interesting. It seems interesting. I'm just not looking forward to like those bo boss battles and some of the tougher fights. <laughs> anyway, thanks for being here. Talk to you later. You'll lurk if you're up. <laughs> okay. Thanks, John. I'll talk to you later. Bye.